Thanks for joining me on episode 950 of the Inspired Stewardship Podcast. I'm Daryl Lyons, author of 18 to 80. I challenge you to invest in yourself, invest in others, develop your influence, and impact the world by using your time, your talent, and your treasures to live out your calling. Having the right behavior with your money is key to doing that. And one way to be inspired to do that is to listen to this the Inspired Stewardship Podcast with my friend, Scott Mader. All of these things are things that are important and they are things that we need to do, but oftentimes those things are the first thing we look at when they're the last thing that we need to do. Because the truth is that the real things that we need to deal with are often those emotions that are driving things like fear and entitlement. Welcome and thank you for joining us on the Inspired Stewardship Podcast. If you truly desire to become the person who God wants you to be, then you must learn to use your time, your talent, and your treasures for your true calling. In the Inspired Stewardship Podcast, you will learn to invest in yourself, invest in others, and develop your influence so that you can impact the world. In today's episode about developing your influence through stewarding your treasures, I talk with you about how we struggle with money because of fear. I also share how we often struggle with money because of having an entitlement mentality. And I share how a lack of a strong financial knowledge and skill set causes people to struggle with money. As we talk about stewarding your treasures, wouldn't it be great if you could support this podcast and do it without costing yourself an extra dime? Turns out you can. All you have to do is use inspiredstewardship.com slash Amazon when you're ready to make a purchase via Amazon, and a small commission will come back to support the show. If you enjoy the show when you're ready to buy from Amazon, just use inspiredstewardship.com slash Amazon. When I talk to lots of people about finances and money, I've discovered that one of the reasons that a lot of people struggle with money is because of fear. Not necessarily that they're afraid of money, but the idea of money and talking about it, it's an emotionally charged subject. It's something that really can scare people because it's so connected to everything we do. The obvious fear is people think about having a fear of not having enough, a fear of struggling because they don't have enough money, they don't have enough to do all of the things that they want to do, all of those sorts of things. But even more, there can be fear that's brought up from having too much or success as well. I've seen people who are so afraid of doing well because they consider everyone who does well to be somehow an evil person or someone that doesn't care for others, doesn't take care of other people, that sort of thing. And that can be a real struggle as well. Plus, fear can come up in terms of childhood memories, in terms of thinking about how your parents handled money or didn't handle money. And maybe, again, it can come from even parents who are very successful. People often think about things around their money into forms that end up creating fear upon them because they're constantly struggling for more out of a fear of never having enough. And no matter how much they have, it continues to come through. And I've seen people struggle with that numerous times. Another thing, another emotion that comes along with money sometimes, and it can be connected to that fear emotion, is the feeling of entitlement. You know, we often think of this as a Western philosophy, but it's true that it actually happens in all cultures in different ways. This feeling that I've worked hard and I deserve it. I can actually afford it because I can afford the payment. I am somebody who needs that. It's not a want, it's a need. And yet what that is something that clearly is not really a need. It's not food, it's not water, it's not even shelter, it's a toy. Now, don't get me wrong, I have nothing wrong with having toys, but oftentimes we feel like we deserve them, and so we end up swiping our way into a lifestyle 
that we don't really deserve, we haven't really earned. This idea of spending money on what you can afford it seems to be a foreign one to many people. And that entitlement mentality can create struggles. And honestly, sometimes that entitlement mentality actually comes out of fear because you're afraid of not having enough. So you end up spending in a way that makes you not have enough. See, the last category is the one of the lack of financial skills and financial knowledge. The, the funny thing is about that, that most of the time, that is what people think is their problem. They think it's around their knowledge and their skills. They think it's around the fact that they never learned how to handle money. And don't get me wrong, that can be a real problem, but oftentimes it's not the core problem. Education around finances is actually relatively easy to come by because the truth is that you can find a lot of information about money and how to do investments and how to do other things nowadays. That information is out there. It's usually not the knowledge that's missing. Instead, it's the, the follow through to apply that knowledge that is often missing. That's the thing that people often fail to do. It's not failing to understand. Instead, it's actually about failing to apply that understanding to their life. Being financially responsible, understanding how money works, understanding how debt works, understanding how insurance works. All of these things are things that are important and they are things that we need to do, but oftentimes those things are the first thing we look at when they're the last thing that we need to do. Because the truth is that the real things that we need to deal with are often those emotions that are driving things like fear and entitlement. The emotions that are driving the fear that we won't have enough, the emotions often are the things that actually end up causing us to struggle with our money over time. And yet we want to attack the knowledge first because the knowledge seems easy. The knowledge seems fixable. The knowledge seems like the thing that we can actually do something about. And the emotions often is much harder. That's where the hard work comes in. That's where the real change comes in. And in doing that, and doing the hard work, that is why and where you actually can make the biggest difference. Thanks for listening. Thanks so much for listening to the Inspired Stewardship Podcast. As a subscriber and listener, we challenge you to not just sit back and passively listen, but act on what you've heard and find a way to live your calling. If you like this episode on the stewardship of treasures, you can sign up for our treasures tips by going to inspiredstewardship.com slash treasures or text in the U.S. 44222 treasures tips. And we'll send you five weeks of our best tips on stewarding your treasures. Until next time, invest your time your talent, and your treasures. Develop your influence and impact the world.